All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Badash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there, pushing his truth and sincerity. And to you, women and children, keep continue to endure because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. This is your brother Bashar. And I want to talk about this uh, Budweiser commercial. Um, I believe it's one of the most recent ones. And this guy that you see on the screen, he's making a speech. Um, he, uh, I don't know his name, but I do know if you watch the movie Independence Day, he made a, a speech. You know, you can look it up on YouTube. It's the Independence Day speech. As a matter of fact, just bear with me for a second. Um, I can find it. I was just watching it. So you see it right here. The, the, the two minute and 42 seconds it's called Independence Day um, movie clip all right so you can look that up as a matter of fact Lord willing I'll put it in the description so and he is basically making a speech to the world um, mainly America but well, the whole world about how they are going to prosper against the chariots of the Most High. All right, now we know this is not biblical, this is not true, it's not prophetic, okay? This is just a fantasy that these elites have, you know? Um, the, 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 the Edomites which is so-called white race and what's going to happen is this um Yahweh Shai and his chariots which the world calls the UFOs they they will come back and they'll come back come back soon and these elites they know that and they know that they're going to have to battle against them Okay. So when the um the battle is here, obviously they're gonna fail. But um I wanna get into the scripture that what he is saying is is you know the scriptures uh, speak contrary to what he is saying. Um not in this um Budweiser clip, but in the original um clip which I'll again I'll put it put it in the description. Okay, that's that's something like mad years ago. Um, and um, that's the speech that I'm talking about. And I do want to play it, but I don't want any strikes. But I want I want to um, I want you brothers and sisters to play it so y'all understand where I, where I'm coming from with the scriptures. Okay. And speaking of scriptures, we're gonna get into the scriptures right now. Okay. This is uh, Job chapter 15, and I will begin. At verse Slocky, just bear with me. I'll begin at verse 21. It reads A dreadful sound in his ear. In prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. Okay? Who's the destroyer? Yahweh Shai. Let's get this in Jeremiah 4 verse. I mean the fourth chapter. The the lion fourth chapter and seventh verse. The lion has come up from his thicket and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. Okay, and they know this. Okay, continuing on. He's not only um, um Slaki, he he's not only gonna Yahweh Shai is not only gonna come, but he's gonna come with the chariots. Okay. Continuing on. With his angels, okay. Continue on. He is gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy city and thy cities shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. Well, without 
and and Ab the tent. Okay? So Yahweh is coming to take down this present kingdom. Okay? That is uh you know ruled by the Edomites, okay? Which is again it's the so-called white the Caucasian race. Um so-called white race. And so, you know, let's get back to Jeremiah the 15th chapter. We're going to continue reading. Okay. Um, verse 22. He believeth not that he shall return out of the darkness. Now, I, w I wanted to mention darkness because I meant, um, I want th this particular verse is what I want to harp on because he mentions the darkness. That guy that was in that uh, movie clip. Making a speech, he said, "We will, uh, we will not go into the darkness." You know, Slocky, I, I just got a phone call. He cut me off, but he's basically saying that, you know, that they are going to prevail against the Yahweh Shai and his chariots. Okay, which is, again, not going to happen, and it's not biblical. It's, it's, the Lord hasn't ordained that, that to happen. Okay, continuing on, he believeth. Not that he shall return out of darkness, he no, and he is await for the sword, meaning the ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay, which will, um, which will be used in a World War Three. Okay, uh, twenty three. He wandereth abroad for bread, saying, Where is it? He knoweth that the end, that the end, the day of the darkness is ready at his hand. Trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready to battle. Okay? All right? They shall prevail against him. All right? So the Lord is going to put the spirit on these other nations to go to battle against uh, Babylon the Great, which is you know known today as America, and they're going to shoot missiles and and ultimately make this land desolate. Okay, as it is written in uh, um, Jeremiah the fourth chapter, seventh verse, which we just read. Okay. For he stretcheth out his hand against the Most High, and stretcheth and, sh and strengthen and uh, str strengthen himself against the Almighty. Okay, he runneth upon. Okay, so basically, that was that, that was the point that I wanted to harp ha on because he's you know he's he's um he's, he's trying to go to war against the Most High. And that's what you see in the movie Independence Day. All right. Which there will be a war. Which the, the scriptures describe it as war in heaven. But, you know, he will not prevail. Thus save the holy scriptures. Okay. And with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. For those of you who don't know, last but not least, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Heavenly Father's beloved Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Apelio Hebrew, also known as the Ancient Hebrew, aka the Holy Tongue. Okay, I'm your brother Bashar, and um, I like to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who rule well. Peace and salutations to the whole for elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. And, you know. women and children continue to endure because prophecies are going to pass again and salvation is near okay i want to uh, hope you know lord willing you brothers and sisters was edified um and with that shalom